Hey, what's up folks? Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys what happens if the starter goes out. So, basically what happened is that the electricals were coming, turning on. Now the battery is completely disconnected and the truck was not cranking at all. So, I was able to get it started by tapping on the starter twice. I got it here to the truck doctor in Oklahoma City and they were not even able to get it started even with the with the tapping on the on the starter now they're replacing it so let's go ahead and show you guys what it looks like all right so now the batteries are disconnected and the starter for volvo is located still got the nut to that one up um, there, huh? yeah. there. So it's right next to the filters below the engine. So it's on the passenger side. So if you ever start in your truck and it's not cranking at all, you tap on it. But if tapping doesn't help, then... Oh, actually he was trying to do something by connecting the, like the, the hot side to the whatever side. That was almost... Normally they would uh, get it started if the transmission is on, ne on neutral, but that didn't help either. So they're going ahead and replacing it. And another thing, they opened the hose here for the turbo. Uh, this is a turbo for the Volvo. They were afraid that it was leaking because there's uh, another problem we had basically yesterday. The leak, it was leaking right here. And the only way the leak would get here is if turbo is leaking oil and it's coming through the DPF, sat saturating all the filters and you know coming to the exhaust pipe. This is dangerous if you get on fire, but luckily they found out this complete problem would have cost cost me maybe around fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to fix. Luckily, there was a leak right here. I had a bottle of antifreeze here, which was sitting on top of sitting on top of my chains and leaking so luckily we just had to replace the starter not sure how much that's going to cost probably going to be less than a thousand dollars and we don't have to spend fifteen to twenty thousand dollars so that's good so they're already working out all right guys so we got a brand new starter let's see if i could go down there to show you guys So basically that's the OEM Volvo starter, he said. And now he's just uh, connecting back the, the batteries. Just cleaning all the corrosions. And there's like a wire in the back, right? That goes from the switch. Uh, that apparently goes back. As you saw in the video. Now let's go ahead and start the truck. Boom, magic. Well, we got the check engine fault. That is for something else. Alright guys, the truck is running fine now, perfect. I took it around for a trip, it's working well. I'm just gonna show you guys what the cost of it. So I called the dealership myself just to confirm the price of the starter. They told me it's 500, uh, 550 bucks. And the, this place is charging me $770. So I guess they're charging me over $220 extra. Okay, uh, usually they charge $120 for go uh, to go get it it's right across the street so they charged me $220 that's a little too much uh, $180 for diagnostics okay and $240 that's basically two two hours of labor $120 each so the total cost of replacing the starter is 
$1379. So we basically ended up spending $1379 to get this starter in place. The truck has what do we got here? They have 457,000 miles on it. So it's almost half a million. I'm not sure how often you gotta replace it, but it was corroded. It had some, uh, it was shorting itself out. So it had a problem in it. So you gotta replace it so finally. So if you guys ever have a problem with your truck not cranking, that means it's restarted most of the time, apparently. And then if it's cranking, not turning, it could be a lot of other problems, but most of the time that could be, uh, your fuel filters in this case we replace the starter so hopefully the truck is going to start running fine if anything i'll update you guys so that being said i hope you find the video useful please subscribe leave your comments down below if you have any experience and if you want to share some of your experiences and your tricks and keep trucking peace out